Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Uh, last we did was checked out the migration in SharePoint. In this video, that was two days ago. So let's go to the admin center and then click on SharePoint admin center. Show all and SharePoint. So I really want to go through this old uh, interface. Remember in one of the options it was giving us option to go to the new one. If I click on new one it's a bit different. It's uh, a lot uh, smoother or simpler but there is a lot more options over here like I see over here. So even if I click on here open new tab and see what's in there. Uh, you see it's like tiles and all that but there is nothing much we did the migration all that and then it's an external link and this one is for OneDrive and some there is more feature if I click on more feature it shows me team store user profile etc so let's click on team profile or team store and see what's in there okay so what happens is once I click on team store it give, takes me to the old interface so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check out the old interface and make sure that we are familiar with that as well because regardless Microsoft uh, transition everything to the new interface these options will be there in one way or another so we need to know all of them and even though we may not have to directly work with them but if they are in the admin center there is a very good chance that you will be or asked to work with them or somebody will be helping you so let's check them out I'm gonna close it out of here go back to the uh, default interface but in more features user profile search apps I did see the search over there when I was clicked there it was right next one so <coughs> apps BCS secure store record management infopath hybrid picker oh okay so that's a hybrid platform so let's uh, go with this one um, uh, it's very simple the first one site collection so what is site collection in SharePoint the site collection is a set of sites that have the exact same owner made uh, that be a person or a team so for example this link has oh it's opening so site collection properties it says this is the title it's a communication site that's not a team team site we know that there are two types one is the communication the other one is the team this is the URL the primary administrator it's I think said ID is over here administrator is same number of subsites it has one the storage usage it has used is only nothing maybe just a page let say some kilobytes storage quota if you remember one of the videos we saw that we can either give it the default that is 25 GB or we can manage each site that how much it should need so by default each site gets 25 GB storage warning level <coughs> So at 24 or something, some change like uh, it, you get the warning that hey your site has reached the limit. Resource usage, how much resources it's using, server resource quota. So out of server resources, uh, I saw somewhere like if you can see it's 5600 resources available from your and out of that 300 is uh, assigned to this site resource usage warning when the site starts using the resources of 255 it will give you a warning so what is the uh, resources in terms of uh, storage it could be bandwidth but uh, nowadays everything comes pretty much with the uh, unlimited bandwidth so it could be the RAM that the site has been using it's it or like uh, processing power so if it has some application or something that scripts that run and that they are using a lot of uh, processing power it gonna give you the warning 
if it's too many user login and the they they like accessing the website then they slow down the whole experience for everybody like including themselves so that's when you know resources usage go up like and then you get the warning as well that hey your site is doing really good you need to assign it more resources so if you see right 5600 source available i'm really using not nothing so there is 1.24 terabyte so basically i think it's no it's not that that that's the total storage probably so if i click on another one this one is another one it's under portal and it's a hub site this one is the search like uh, the search for the whole our uh, sharepoint so search manages whatever you internally search it's not the external like google it's uh, for your internal thing so for example you uh, we have a website it has all the um, internal websites so it has all the help articles everything from start to date now what they do is even if they update the article then they add uh, this article was last updated so you know but there are literally I would say thousands of pages in there so the search is crappy we have to be very specific even though general uh, term sometimes not yielded so that search is only for internal thing it's uh, if you have blogged uh, in the past and you have added Google search to your website it's nothing like that it's all eternal it only searches your website and you have to manage that actually you have to go with the metadata and add and tell this thing so that should be in the search function we will see later on like what the search in there and what's in there I haven't checked it out yet uh, the last one is I have dot dash my dot sharepoint dot com and uh, I want to click on it none of this uh, sites or collections or URLs I did not make them they were made automatically by SharePoint so I'm gonna click on search and see what's in there so that's the uh, URL it's it, uh, notice that it's not either saying communication ne neither team so there's no classification for this page because it's a search page and company administrator is its administrator usage is zero 25 allocated everything is same but there are no allotted resources to it and there's no warning as well <coughs> so let's click on this one the last one and see its properties again it's not classified as team or communication everything exactly the same as um, Uh, search so we're gonna click on one of this uh, checkbox button and notice everything is uh, was grayed out and now it's in color hey, just like that so we're gonna click on properties properties gives us the exact same thing that we saw the second one is owners so we can see who are the owners add sport partner that is like share your workload but who are the admins company admins so I can add another one probably check names or get from the address book like I can browse and tenant or all users and in all users Windows membership find uh, Ali see if uh, Ali is there nope so can I add Ali by here yes so Ali is added so if you name know the name you can just type it in press enter and it will be added so that's the site collection administrator if I add Ali or Aslan here press enter and you are only allowed to enter one item so only one can be the collection administrator more admins can be added here I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna remove Aslan press enter Oh. okay cancel it 
so owners manage let's add as learn enter no exact match was found so there is nothing Ali so what's this broken or what Ali it keep going for Aslan so they're basically because there are two Aslan so it wants me to add the exact name <coughs> I'm gonna go with Ali and click OK so it resolved now there are two admins uh, so let's go with the add sport partner we can add multiple sport partners over here as well so that's the root administrator so for this one and there are none I can right now it's drop down is not giving me so what are the sharing options it takes a while to load so do you want uh, this site to be shareable like accessible outside of your organization so only the user there that uh, are uh, the next one is allow or not the second one is only the user that are they work in other organization but they are in your company's directory as well so the third one is that you are allowing external user who actually go ahead and sign up with you and this one is you make it public default link permission how you want it so, and so it access uh, like what's the default of link if they create any link that is anonymous internal direct whatever what will be uh, the property of that link it could be view or added limited external sharing by domain so this is another option like it's very limited in its nature you can learn more by clicking here so basically this setting says that if there's a conflict like they have the exact same paths or something so what setting is take precedence and normally the site uh, the organization wide setting always have the precedence over uh, anything that is below it so do you want your uh, the, the users uh, non owners like if it's just a user doesn't matter internal or external can they invite new users can they create a link or not that's the this one option and share links like what what is the URL that they send to share an invitation links with so that will be the URL so if we are looking at another site the share will be that one we can save it or not so basically the, the last uh, thing was that different URLs have different uh, sharing options so it's we were looking at this so this link will go with that sharing or invitation link if we were looking at this if this link you see this is different than that one so this will go let's see what's next in code storage quota uh, set I think it's the manage quota that we saw earlier or in the other video oh yeah exactly the same so if you remember we did see that one option gave uh, was in the admin center that either you have to go and set each sites its quota or you can put it as default and every site will get 25 GB so this is the one I can give it it's 25 GB I could get give it 10 GB right just make 25 10 So now this site has 10 GB instead of 25 GB. Total available of uh, storage site for the websites we have is 
1.25 terabytes so this is to manage sites like if you were, you're gonna run one or two website you are fat fine with up to five you can find what 25 running each oh, but if you have to manage multiple sites more than five and you know some sites will take more space than the others then you go and lay with this number here so if I click save this site gets only 10 GB it's saving so is there an option to refresh this page without refreshing the whole thing I'm gonna go and refresh the whole page if latency does not hit and it did not we see it's now 10 GB so what's next storage quota was very simple 98% so the, the other option is this site collection site collection don't be uh, confused by the it just this simply mean this site storage reaches 98% you said then them reminder hey you are at your limit buy storage so this space taking forever to load but that assigned to a user is only there I don't see anything else or add subscription my guess is that this is to get more storage for your website so enterprise suite e3 So I don't see just the program to get the bump of the storage. Maybe that option only gets enabled when you are at your limit uh, of this storage so we're gonna go back so maybe that's it but basically you can buy much more than 1.25 terabyte so if you if you are at your store storage limit they gonna you can buy more and server resource quota So this is like if you want your server resources to be assigned more than this person so th not the percentage like, like they uh, I don't know how they calculate it but they if but it's a, like a number they are giving you fi total 5600 you can assign this site more or less for example you could give it uh, 500 and if I save it it's gonna from 300 to 500 so if site is taking more resources you allow it more even though it's less in storage it gets more resources everything else is zero you can go and play with them so exactly the same let's see what else is there do we get the upgrade so it's updating so there's that wheel of uh, work it's doing that's why I cannot select it I can select something else in the meanwhile and let's see what is the upgrade this one is up think when you you know move a site to a new web address that is for that so you can link all that so
Ah, it's the server upgrade. So this is basically if you were on the older settings we saw in that uh, experience version. So it's still saying 2013. So for example, it was to a SharePoint 2012 or uh, 2010. You wanted to upgrade it to 2013. That's how you do it. But it's saying that it's already up, up to date. They are giving 2013 as 2020 now. So this should be SharePoint 2016 at least. I am not sure, but th that's just to upgrade the uh server sharepoint server and this one is recycle bin let's see what's in there so that's probably if you have deleted a website it stays in recycle bin just like files and once uh, you realize that you need that you can store it from the recycle bin uh, i am gonna create a url can we create a new site And give it name test test let's say uh, give him Imran ten GBs give him Ali it's a good thing I made that username. Uh, never mind. that's how you fix it you just have to go to the address book so the message saying that it can take 15 minutes or longer to complete this task so that site is being created I'm gonna go ahead and try to delete this one can I delete it delete option is not there Hmm. I think for the for the default sites, uh, it's not gonna work. That's why I created another one, so we can delete it later on. It can take fifteen minutes uh, for the site creation. I'm gonna quickly refresh the page and see if it's there or not. But if it's not, then um, we'll try in the next one. And I have it there. Uh, the, what is it? Portal. Ah, it's still being created. Test. So I cannot select it. It's gonna go and probably take the full amount. Let's wait for it. All right. So it looks like the site is created. It's saying new in front of it. Uh, let's see. And yes. So for the default sites that created automatically, we have no control, but the one that we create, we can later on delete them. So if I click delete, it's working. It's saying sending over here on the right side. <coughs> So now, even though I have not selected anything, Recycle Bin is uh, not grayed out. So once I click on it, it should be there. And it is. So I'm going to restore it. And days remaining that I have for it to retrieve is 29. So today is the 30th day. And so each day it's going to go down like one day. And until on the 30th day, it will be fully deleted from my... Uh, I was 365 so this is the uh, this should be all for the site collection I'm gonna go with the others as well so we can restore it by this method select it and just click on restore and it should show up back on the site collection main page 
I might have to refresh it I refresh the page and it's there right there and it says new so it's on your site um, so I'm gonna go and wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment like subscribe and share and you have a good day